Is that, and, and with that column on the, the bottom, and for my side, it's the bottom right, where you might love something, but you're yeah. good at it. And it, does that, does that sort of consider that, well, you're not, you're not great at it, but you love it enough to want to learn and, and, and educate and improve yourself? to be able could 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 do to make it something look could could do um yeah yeah look at you, you you could do or what you might find is that you're actually not good at it and you love it and i'll give an example and it's not a property example yeah. uh i love football but i'm not good at it yeah right so but i love it so it could be something that you uh that you 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 know you um you spark some curiosity and you want to do more of you want to delve a little bit further and work out well hey Am I, you know, can, can I develop into this? Yeah. Of course, you potentially could, but I suppose there's also a point where you need to ask yourself: by spending more time developing these skills, am I better off focusing on something that I'm actually strong on, uh, as opposed to trying to plug a weakness? Mm -hmm. Right. So, for example, for me, uh, a weak a weakness for me is administration. Right. I cannot stand it, mm -hmm. uh, and I could sit there for days and weeks uh, doing administration, and I might be marginally better but I would still feel the same way about it. So, um, you know, it, this look, it comes down to self-awareness, Cheryl, as well. That's another key point in all this is about understanding, um, you know, yourself. And if you're struggling with the things like, well, I don't know what I'm good at, and ask some friends, ask some families, uh, your family members, ask a coach, uh, you know, ask uh, colleagues, uh, workmates, all that sort of stuff. You know, constantly ask people, well, what do you think I'm good at? You know, what do you think I need to improve in, right? And I'd like to think that those around you could at least give you an, a level of uh, independent or objective, uh, you know, feedback. It's not always the case. So sadly, yeah. uh, you know, one of the things that, um, that that I talk about is that from a coaching point of view, uh, and this is not about me promoting um, coaching, uh, although it's probably going to come across that way, uh, but from a coaching point of view, uh, you know, coaches come in and, and they're paid to come in and be independent and give independent objective advice, whereas quite often family members and friends, close friends, will want to keep you safe and they will tell you what you want to hear yeah. as opposed to what you really need to hear. Yeah, and and, and uh, this is something that Gary V talks about, self-awareness, um, and uh, yeah. I've listened yeah. to, to a few of his videos and, and that is one of the things that he, he, he says, he recommends, is to almost sit in front of the people that know you the best and ask them, you know, ask them yeah. the tough questions about who you really are. What you're good at. But how many people honestly are brave enough to do that? And I don't know if I'm, you know, I sort of think I'm self-aware enough to, but if I really asked, you know, whether my, my husband or my parents or my really good friends, um, I'm, I'm, I'm almost a little bit afraid to <laughs> ask the right questions because I think I might know who I am. Um, how do we almost get past it? And, w and what are good, good ways to sort of overcome that, um, that apprehension of really trying to, you know, asking people those tough questions about, oh, what do you think I'm good at? And yeah, sure. what, are, what am I, what are the things I'm not so good at and I'm a pain in the ass at? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. So, you know, you're talking about fear, right? So when you talk about the words afraid, um, that's fear. You know, you don't want to hear the truth. You're fearful of what the truth might be. And I would frame that a different way. I would say that in the spirit of me uh, relentlessly improving or continuously, continuously improving, uh, Kaizen is another Japanese word for continuously improving. So I might throw in all the Japanese words uh, tonight. But in the spirit of wanting to get to your goal and constantly improve, then I would, I would encourage you to bring your mask down, uh, bring down your own, um, you know, uh, fears, et cetera, uh, and be open to the feedback. I mean, you have to, you, you have to be open to this, right? So, so, again, I'll go back to coaching. Not everybody is open to being coached, hmm. right? So there's plenty of people who don't want to be coached because they feel that they know it all. They feel that they've got it all sorted uh, and don't bother me. And, look, for those people, honestly, um, you know, that, that's fine. And perhaps at the right time, they'll recognise that there's areas of opportunity. You need to be open to this. If you're going to ask a question like that, you need to be pre prepared for whatever the responses might be. And I would even preface it by saying, I, I, I want this both barrels. I want this both barrels because it's for me to be the best version of myself. It's for me to progress and grow uh, and challenge myself and get out of my comfort zone. Please, you know, almost like, you know, pleading with people 
to be honest with me, you know, to be honest with me. Um, so you've got to get out of your own way, Cheryl, is, is the way that I would uh, describe that is that, uh, yeah, you might be afraid, but, you know, do, do you want to grow yeah. and be the best version of yourself? And if the answer is yes, and, and, I, and I've gotten to know you over the last uh, you know, month or so, and I know that for you the answer is yes. yes. And so for you, it's, you, need to, you need to be open mm. to um, the feedback that comes back. Now, what I would say to people who give the feedback is that you want to um, encourage them to do it in a way that's respectful as well, yeah. right? So encourage them in a way, this is a, you, you're creating a supportive environment and you want that feedback to be done in a way that is truthful, but is also very respectful um, of the individual, but the individual needs to be open. Can I just do it in a survey form where I don't have to look at people? <laughs> this is the multiple choice questions. <laughs> But what what is a good way to be able to Cheryl? <laughs> this is live. This is live. What do you want? So it's a. No, I get it. No, I know. I know it's live. There's no. There's no. There's no uh, take two here. I get yeah. it. Um, yeah. So so your your question. Your que Sorry, you ask your question again, please. Uh, what what are effective ways of having these conversations? You know, um, pick five people, sit down with them with a list of questions, and and they sort of respond to you and then you read you know you read what the reviews are or or what's what's a real you know what are some good ways to for tips and tricks for people not just myself but anyone that's watching this video who are going to say okay hmm. you know i really want to know you know be more self-aware and understand and you know what not just all yeah. well, things about me but yeah i'd, I'd, I'd encourage I'd, I'd encourage yeah sure I'd encourage it more on a one-on-one -on -one basis. If you get uh, five people on one, it starts to become an intervention, right? Yeah. So maybe that's needed, maybe it's not. But uh, but you want to do it in a one-on-one -on -one fashion. And, and again, it might be over a coffee with a with a with a girlfriend, uh, with a boyfriend, whatever it might be, uh, with a work colleague, uh, someone you know, someone who you believe is. Look, look, don't go and pick somebody who's going to tell you what you want to hear. Because you've defeated the whole purpose of the exercise, right? Yes. You're not you're not going to get the honest feedback to then go and make improvements. Mm. So you want someone who's going to be truthful to you. That's the whole the whole purpose of this. Right? What's the objective? The objective is to become the best version of you. Yeah. Uh, from a property point of view, to be the very best property uh, professional uh, in whichever stream you're in. Uh, that is the objective. Uh, so don't go and pick people who are who are safe, who are going to keep you safe, because you don't. Want, that's not what you truly want to hear. It might be what on the surface you think you want to hear, mm. but it's not what you truly want to hear. But I, I wouldn't go and you know get have a have a um, have a uh, have a have a party, invite five or six people over, and uh, you sit in the in the in the centre and uh, you know get roasted by your friends. No, yeah. not at all. No, just look in a one-on-one -on -one fashion, right? So, but but again, in the spirit of letting people know that. Hey, I want uh, want some feedback. Look, the other way, you know, you touched on a survey. I'm not suggesting we go and do surveys, but it might be um, an email uh, as well. If you, if you're not if you don't feel that you're up for getting that um, you know face to face um, you know feedback, you may feel it's a little confrontational. It might be a bit of an email uh, side of things as well. Look, the great thing about a lot of uh, workplaces is that it depends upon where you are. Is that uh, I'd like to think that there's a KPI a performance. Uh, review process uh, in your business and perhaps out of that there could be some nuggets uh, of gold different things that you could work on as well to improve yourself so you've got a nice cross-section of you know your work colleagues as well as uh, some friends uh, and family yeah because it's not just it's also the other side because you might find people who feel um, that they're they're a little bit afraid to to um, to tell the truth in a way especially when it's facing that person um so it could potentially be a list of questions where someone else interviews the other person on your behalf possibly mm -hmm. um because they're could, well, could 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 be yeah yeah so i could see yeah, it could it could be you need to create a safe space as well yeah yeah, yeah. i'm going to try that this week. great 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 that safe space well, um i'll i'll, I'll get my husband. well so so already so <laughs> So audience who are audience who are watching at uh, half past eight on yes. a Tuesday yes. next week we're going to touch base with Cheryl. Yes. Uh, this is accountability time, okay. and we're going to follow up and see how you got on. I was gonna I was gonna allocate some other homework, but if that's if that's the one, I think that would be good homework for whoever. Bring up that self awareness. Find three people, and, and maybe that's the thing. Yes. Yes. We've got three three people that we need to speak to. Um, I'll all buy them lunch 
and big bottles of wine. If they'll put down this <laughs> and, well, I, I would suggest if, you, if we're giving out homework, I didn't realise we we're giving out homework, but there you go. So, if we're giving out homework, oh, yes. I would yeah. I would suggest that I'd, I'd get people to uh, get out there and uh, Google up Ikigai, I K I G A I. Uh, have a look at it, had a read of it. There's a number of wonderful websites on it. And um, I'm happy to, I did a, um, uh, a YouTube clip on it earlier this year for about two or three minutes. I'm happy to put that in the notes yeah. uh, once we're finished here. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but go on and, and start this process, right? Start the process of uh, understand what it's all about, but then go and rule up uh, your columns uh, like that. Just same headings, but just do it in a uh, in a vertical fashion, yeah. and just write and just write down the columns. And the ultimate objective, given that the ikigai is the four intersecting circles, you want to come up with a match across all four. Again, if you're struggling with the passion side, which is the love, what am I? What do I love doing, and what am I good at? Then you may want to take that a next step further which is coming up with something a little like that mm. um, to just help you drill drill down into the uh, into, into the passion side. Yeah, I think I, why don't we do that as, as, as this week's sort of homework, Ikigai, for, for anyone that wants to sort of, mm. what's a good mm. way for them to be able to share share their Ikigai? Because, I, 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 you know, I, I came across Ikigai about a year ago and, and, um, mm. and I can't remember where it was, but, but it, it instantly resonated. Who was, you know, as my job or you know career, is where I want to be and where mm. I am. You know, I'm doing I'm doing the things that I love, uh, but it is something that I mm. I revisit often. Um, I did buy the book. Yeah, correct. I, I did buy the Ikigai book, and it and over and over again, it got to the mm -hmm. point where it was a little bit repetitive. But it was about that purpose, mm. about that why we're doing things. So um, it'll be great if we could put that that link up to your YouTube um, so it can help sort of guide. Yeah, the, yeah, absolutely. The, yep. How that's done. And, and I'm going to do that myself. It's, it's go through those four columns and, um, yeah, correct. And write down, you know, revisit that again. I like to be able to make sure that I'm still on track with revisit it. Yeah. What I'm doing. So, um, no, that's cool. I think, you know, I think that's a, a, a Ab really, absolutely really good start um, for our, our first little session of, the business of property. Why are we doing this? Correct. You know, why, why, why are we? Yes. We doing property. Why are we looking at building a business in property? And um, and mm. let's start with mm. a little bit, bit of that homework. And uh, would be, would be keen to see what people's thoughts are and and their comments and sharing their experiences to why they decided property was their path. And having done, having. Mm. Have we got any comments just on that, Cheryl? Do we have? Have we got any comments? Is there anyone uh, put any? Uh, David, David here, I haven't been doing things I'm good at, but doing things that are important to me. And so I'm trying to educate myself to be good at it. So it was on that point of not so good, but I love what I'm doing. Um, yeah. yeah and, and like I said, so, so it's just a, it's a balance between if you're not good at it, uh, that's okay. You may try to close that particular gap out. But then at a point, again, this comes back to self-awareness, uh, are you better off? Are you better off not closing that gap out? Perhaps you outsource that to someone else yep. and you focus on your strengths. Yes. Right? And, yep. and so it's, 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 a, it's a balance. There's no um, right or wrong answer in this regard. It's just a personal piece. By all means, try to close out your weaknesses. But also, uh, like I said, you know, I could sit here for you know, weeks and weeks and weeks on end uh, try to improve my administration, I might get marginally better. Uh, I'm not sure that my love for it would increase, but nonetheless, uh, I might get marginally better. Uh, but I would have wasted all that time where I could have you know, um, double, tripled down on my strengths yes. and be growing my business as opposed to doing the administration. So it's just something that you need to um, consider. And we're going to you know, we're going to dive into the, all that sort of stuff too as we go through this uh, little lives, uh, Cheryl. Yeah. You know, one of the things is around... Uh, outsourcing, you know, I, I, I touched on that right at the start that I was doing that today. We're going to talk about more of that, you know, over the upcoming weeks yeah, uh, as well. Is there any other questions there? Um, I'm not sure if anyone has questions here. I know 
Trent was very generous. Would love, would love some, by the way. So just whilst you're scrolling through, and that's probably something we should have said at the outset, is that you know really keen to uh, obviously to help you with your questions. Uh, you know, but you and I, you and I chat uh, often as well. So it's more: is there someone in the audience that's watching that's you know giving up their Tuesday evening? I'm conscious that people could be doing 101 things other than listening to uh, to you and I. So is there any questions that they have whilst they've got us? Yeah, I've got um, Lucy. Hey, Clay. Um, Rob's Rob's left this for the after for the evening. Um, Trent Trent said, "You're genius." Thanks, Trent. Was that to me or or or, or Tony? <laughs> Self awareness. Or both of us. So both of it. But but both both of us. So we'll we'll take that, Cheryl. I'll take it. Thanks. Thanks, Trent. Um, uh, Trent Trent I understand does a bit of mentoring as well in the property space. We would be really keen. Uh, for you to share any sort of your your thoughts and learnings and tools as well, uh, particularly around sort of cool. why you're doing, yeah, great. doing what you're doing, Trent. If you're still still online, um, but no, hey, Lucy, Lucy is is a young lady that um, is quite a powerhouse, and I would love for her to to do the icky guy homework, uh, Lucy. You probably mm, don't, mm. but I think that would be a really good one to go through with you as well. So um, everyone's sort of gone a little bit quiet, but yeah, I think that's definitely something that we will encourage the audience for our next live. Um, and as this sort of unravels and we get a good idea of who's on and, and the type of information that people are, are wanting, the value that mm. we bring to them. Um, so we've got some homework. It'll be good if people could post up, I guess, if they want to. Um, their what they've when they've gone through their ikigai um and share if they yeah. want to, um share what they've found out and well i would i would say so. I, I i agree it'd be great uh, to see what people have done i think the other thing too cheryl is that you know you and i have committed to doing this on a tuesday night regularly for the next uh, uh you know a uh, few months or whatever and we'll yeah. see how it all goes and i would like to uh, see are there things that people want us to talk about. There's a, a number of topics that Cheryl and I have gone and got pre-planned. We've got a bit of a process or a bit of a flow that we want to go through, but we welcome, you know, your, uh, you know, thoughts. Uh, what would you like for Cheryl and I to uh, debate, uh, kick around, uh, have a chat about uh, if it's going to be helpful to you, particularly given that, you know, we're giving up our Tuesday evening to try and help. It'd be great if we could, you know, deliver things that are most valuable and helpful to those people watching. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All righty. Well, it looks like um, we've been going on for, for a little bit now. Um, we might close up for, for this evening. Thank you very much, Tony. I appreciate Okay. I know you've got, got quite a bit of others. Hey, that's okay. Thank you. That was a bit of, that was, a, that was, that was a bit of fun, right? Uh, so that was our first one done. So I had a lot of a uh, lot of fun. Oh, that's. Um, I think you know Luke Maroney. Luke Maroney was uh, making a joke as to who was going to talk the most, but I think you and I have uh, done pretty oh, well we've, together. We've evened out, have we? It was a tie. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I, I, I think so. But look, and, and maybe uh, I'll, maybe I'll watch this back and uh, and perhaps I'll uh, you know see myself uh, you know, talking plenty. But uh, no, I just uh, I think we've both uh, contributed. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. No, it's it's been good. Um, Lucy says this is so helpful. I love that you share this with all the people. Um, we love it, and I like you said. I think um, that's something that thank you that Tony and I um, agree on is is that 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 we both have a passion. And, um, about helping others, um, sharing, you know, whatever it is, with whatever experience, the knowledge that we have, um, acknowledging as mm. well that, that, that ourselves, we're growing every day. Um, that if, oh, 100%. Mm. If we can share that with people, um, that's what makes our lives sort of a little bit happier. Thanks, Nigel. Sure does. Thanks, Neil. All right. Well, good evening, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the evening. And uh, Thank you. See you all soon. Bye, Tony. Ciao. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye.